What's up guys, today I got a video. I'm gonna show you how to go through the DaVinci software on your 3D printer. Um, a little bit how I make how I make my stuff. And then I'm gonna do a full print to show you how I created this phone case for the new game Destiny for my iPhone. Um, and I'm gonna print it out. You can watch the print. Let's see what I do on the software and just see what you can learn from it. So here we go. All right, so to start your whole endeavor, you can get your uh, XYZ software up. And for me, what is this? I use AutoCAD, so I'm gonna get my AutoCAD up. For Mac, I'm using a Mac. And I got this file of the phone case that I've already created, so let's go to that. Now, it takes forever to learn how to use AutoCAD to its full extent, so obviously I'm not going to throw all that in this video, but um, if you know how to use AutoCAD, you can create cool things like this. So, as you can see there is my Destiny case, this loads when you crash my computer. Got too many programs going. Alright. Here's my Destiny case. Got a couple others too. Donkey Kong, Zelda, a bunch of different kinds. We're gonna grab this one. So you can see I customized it, got a little hole for the jack, got a nice lip. Now it's in two different colors just because, well, you knew it was in two colors, but it will not look like that in the print. I was just, while well, I was building it. So anyways, if you use AutoCAD and you're familiar, I didn't know how to create STLs on AutoCAD, but now I do. All you do is type in STL out, create a binary STL file, yes, and I already have one in my Destiny, I'll just replace it, Destiny logo iPhone 5 case, I got my creation, STL out. The, the, the DaVinci software and most 3D printers use STLs. So, um, that should be pretty common across all softwares. Alright, so you're going to go up to this big button right here, import Destiny logo iPhone 5 case. And in the settings, you can do like auto position stuff. Sometimes that messes it up. Just right click your piece and click land in center. Get it nice in the center, and it'll be touching the, the um, print bed. So it'll be flush on there. And now you can choose which color you want it to be. And I'm going to make this one black. I made my last one blue and I got black and blue film in there. So this one's going to be black. Alright, so now you got everything set up over here. And let's go over to our printer. Alright, first things first. You're going to want to make sure that your print bed is nice and glued. Um, you got some glue on there so that when you go to print, it sticks. As you can see, I got a little glue residue on there already, but I'm going to put a little more on. I'll put a little string on the sides here for the um, for the test strand that it prints before it goes into the actual print. And then the glue all up in there where the actual case is going to print. And I always say it's better to have too much than too little because you don't want your... Um, You don't want your stupid print like curling up or falling off the platform while it's printing, but you can always wipe the glue off or that you can, you know, do what you need to do. Now that you got your printer set up, you're gonna go up here to print. And you can go to your advanced settings and stuff, but I usually just keep it on normal or even I'll do good. I'll change it to 0.3. Um, and then make sure you're plugged into your laptop, click print, it'll slice it, and then when it's done slicing, it'll upload. There it goes. Alright, and now we can hear it heating up over here, getting ready to do its thing. raise itself up to the top and it's gonna print.
Right now it is heating the extruders, so that's why it's taking a second. All right, so it heated up to about 200 degrees on uh, on the extruders, and about I think it said about 70 or 80 degrees on the heat bed Celsius. And the timer on this thing's always messed up at the beginning. You know, um, that is one thing that's kind of weird about the Da Vinci. Its timer really hasn't. Um, it's not very accurate. It is more accurate while it starts printing, like while, when it gets into the print, but at the beginning it's definitely not accurate. Right now it's 3.20, so we'll see what, what time it is at the end. So it's uh, 4:15. It took about 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and I did that on um, I did it on the good setting, opposed to the normal setting, which I usually do, which is uh, it's about 30 minutes. Well, let me see here. It said that print took 49 minutes. So 49 minute print. Also, uh, sorry for the light turning on and off. I have it set to turn off the light every three minutes, and it, um, that's why I kept turning off, but I need to change that. Okay, so just get your scraper tool, and find a place you can get under it. Tie it off, and there's a little glue excess, and you can, you can scrape it and wipe it with a, uh, with a wet towel. So now we got our Destiny case. I like to just wash it in the sink, get that glue off. And you can do a little bit of sanding too. sanding if you want but basically when you print uh, on, on the on a printer that has a heated print bed the side that touches the print bed is gonna be extremely smooth so that side doesn't need any any sanding or anything it's really smooth the inside is just gonna be a little bit rough but um, I mean it doesn't affect how it goes on your iPhone or anything so Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take this one off. I'm gonna put this one on, make sure it fits. I think I like the blue one better. It's just cool, it's got some color to it. Bam, fits perfect. Cool. Now I got the black Destiny case. Now if you have your own 3D printer, um, I'm gonna put this on my on my Thingiverse website and you can just download it and print it. Um, you can go check that out. If you don't have a 3D printer, I also sell these on eBay and I do custom um, designs too. I got other stuff, Zelda and I don't know, Destiny logo and pretty much whatever you want I can print it. So you can go check those out, I'll put them in the description. Um, but yeah, pretty cool.